Now, if you think about it, fungi are everywhere. They are in the air we breathe. In this very moment, we are breathing millions and millions of fungal spores. They are everywhere we step. It's like if you go outside and you walk, it's actually all the soil is full of fungal mycelium going on everywhere. And nevertheless, we humans uh, tend to associate these microorganisms with feelings of disgust, of repulsion. We actually think they are the origin of diseases. And, well, it is true, partly, that some of the fungi are pathogenic, but this is a great minority. You have to think about the fact that uh, uh, we think that there are about five millions of different fungal species in the world, and actually most of them can be extremely beneficial for us. Uh, so, to give you a little bit of a background knowledge, not to make a biology lesson, but when we talk about fungi, and it's easy to distinguish in English when where you talk about fungi and mushrooms, fungi are not the fruiting bodies, are not the reproductive body of, of, of the organism. Fungi are actually the vegetative body of this, and it's a very, very extended uh, organism which actually goes on in the soil and inside every uh, decaying and dying matter. These are just the manifestations uh, which are there for reproductive reasons. So you have to think about, for instance, the tree being the organism and the apple being the fruit of the tree. In the same way, the mushroom is the fruit of a larger organism, which, however, is hidden. And where is it, in fact? It's, it's just underground, mostly. And uh, it consists of this very intricate uh, uh, net of interlocking cells uh, this was supposed to be a video, but unfortunately it's not a video anymore in the PDF, but that doesn't matter. These are kind of fungal cells. They are these filamentous cells that uh, uh, actually uh, go on ever in any kind of uh, uh, decaying matter and that uh, uh, tend to intersect with each other until they form sort of unwoven structures. They form a very intricate net. So some people, in fact, tend to talk about such organisms as the first uh, uh, web well, literally, but natural internet in the world. We might be familiar, or you might be familiar with uh, such organisms. When you take a walk uh, in the woods, you might uh, have spotted this kind of fluffy, white, cotton-like substances which grow on decaying uh, matter. And now, I, I encourage you to notice the scale. This is a one centimeter scale. Uh, but in fact, this is a cluster of thousands and if sometimes millions of fungal filamental cells because the reality is in fact that they are uh, really not possible to, to be witnessed by naked eye usually, if not through microscopy. So my question back in time was like, how could we engage in a beneficial uh, relationship with fungal organisms? How could we actually trigger a symbiosis somehow between human and fungi? And uh, uh, triggered by that question and motivated by not the will of creating new materials or new materialities, I was actually at the time very interested in uh, analyzing topics related to death, so something completely different. But I was interested in fungi exactly because fungi are the great recyclers of the natural world. They undergo cycles of transformation, transmutation of organic matter to be rendered into nutrients that can go back to uh, the ecosystem for favoring the emergence of new life forms.